For most American teens, high school is about having fun. But for these six girls, high school, high school, high school will not be the same. Sophia, you cannot keep doing that. Hi, my name is Tariq Murphy. I'm partnering in our new campaign, Hungry for Change. What's up, everybody? This is JR, uh, visionary of Hungry for Change. Aimed towards young adults about positivity in today's society. You're making positivity go viral. Yeah, so we're going to be about to give you the up. I want to be in probably about a two block radius. So let's make sure that we're in five. Um, it was a little nerve wracking. I, I didn't think it was going to be that hard to um, spread the message of positivity. Feel like we got the momentum going. You gotta be creative with your saying. Oh, oh, tell them what we told them, Danny. Oh, no more video holes. Uh, <laughs> no more videos. Filmmakers who were like, yo, are you guys interested in having something else on TV? You can't go there without having something to say. So that was good for me. You guys, good job. We're wrapping it up for today. Uh, next event, we got the discussion forum, all right? So we'll be off to the next one, all right? Good job today. I think we went real well, all right? All right. All right. You probably see me on the H4C commercial skit. And in that skit, we talked about a show called When Good Girls Gone Bad. But you really knew what I was talking about. We've seen that a lot of people feel pressured by these reality TVs. Also, the influence that they're gaining from these TV shows isn't positive and is creating a negative society. Why do you want to be on TV? I want to be on TV because I want to be on TV. Now I have So pretty much the same thing. Everybody want to be famous. All right, let me get your answer. Money. You got his mind on his money, his money on his mind, right? All right, so three, tell a little bit about being on TV and about money. Money is a big thing. For instance, who saw the NBA Finals? You guys were mad. You were mad. Yeah. Miami lost. You guys were Miami lost, right? I was happy. I'm so happy. No. So happy. No. So happy. No. Who was the first one after the commissioner, David Stern, had the trophy? Who did he pass it to first? I think he passed it to the owner. Uh, exactly. He owns the team, so almost everything. Yeah, I heard they go 
Exactly. Wow. So it seems like the people who are most famous sometimes aren't the ones who are in the, the spotlight or the mainstream. So what are some of your, you know, your favorite artists, your favorite rappers? I want to go around the whole room. Rihanna. Go ahead. Beyonce. I like Trey Songz. I like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. So Birdman, anyone likes Young Money and stuff like that? Does anyone know that, for instance, Birdman, you know, we talk about gas prices and things right now in this, in this economy. Do you know that he has his own oil refinery? Who? Birdman, then, on Twitter. Just the other day, 50 Cent put a penny stock, a stock that's an investment in the world, and he put that on a Twitter account, and then he actually gave followers and gave people to actually invest in this penny stock, and he made $8.7 million in a weekend. Now this just shows you how even people in the spotlight, people that we know, people that we listen to, are not only just making great music, but also making great decisions and great choices as well in business. Actually, what are your goals? What are some things that you guys want to do in the future? Um, I want to be a biologist. A swimmer, you said? A professional swimmer, or if that doesn't work out, a lawyer. So you have two plans. So not only if you have a plan, let's say swimmer doesn't work out, you make sure you have an education. Wow, architect or engineer. So you want to design buildings. You was going to say that? It's all right. You guys can pair up, and you both y'all can do it together. When you think change, what do you first think? Wow. So she said change is when you make life a little better. It don't not necessarily is becoming better because you could change something and it become it could become worse. Wow. So I think different. So she thinks different. There's certain type of uniqueness that comes with change. Help someone give to the world. So now you think there's a more community aspect. What is some change you think that can go on right now in your society, in your life, or the life that you look at on the news, maybe every day when you go on the street, come to school, from school? What is some change? I didn't see you all day. Can you, can you answer me? Um, one change is that for men to stop shooting girls. Wow. Black people going to college. That education in the black community needs to change. One of the things that we just want to leave you guys with is this. You guys are in a school that is literally changing the way education is being run in the New York State. Back in 2009, you mentioned about getting more, more people into college and people taking it serious. African Americans, this is numbers now, statistic wise, 27% of African Americans were not passing the citywide test. In the meantime, at Harlem Children's Zone, 97% of you guys are passing. Now that's huge. That's almost 100%. Get ready to change the world as well. People need to really adhere to what education can bring and produce out of your own life. And that's some phenomenal feedback we have during Humber for Change. But most importantly, these are some things that we want to change in today's society. Basketball wives, they, sometimes they argue, and like they're, they're, they're not with the basketball players anymore, they're all divorced, or they're broken up. For money? It's like, they get paid, so it's like, y'all do it as long as I get paid. They won't do it for free, they don't want to sit there and buy the table, right? It's for money. I'm H1C positive by staying in school. I'm H1C positive because I like helping people that is unfortunate and, um, are helpless. Well, education is key. We need to stop dropping out of school because we're missing out on important opportunities in life, colleges, and opportunities. It's about time that somebody step up and say, hey, there's an alternative and it's positive.